Hello everybody and welcome to my tutorial number 14 about FreeCAD CFDOF. In this tutorial I will show you how to simulate bubbles with Interfoam. On the left side you see real bubbles, on the right side you see the result of our simulation. This is our simulation model. On the middle, on the top, you see the outlet. This is air with a specific pressure of zero pascal. On the right side, you see the inlet. The inlet consists of air. And here we have an inlet speed of minus 0.2 meter per second. Um, we are building up this model. Um, furthermore, we need an initializing zone. The geometry and the position is given. Now let's start with FreeCAD. First, we go to the part design workbench. And we make a new sketch. We start with a polyline. We start on this point, go up, then a bit more left, then straight up. We go to the right, we go down, go a bit to the left, go down, and that's all. Now we make again a polyline, start again here, we go up, go right, go down, and then we press three times the M and we get an arc. Okay, so that's it. Now we need a, a one more arc. Okay. So these both points are corresponding. They are connected. And this point is also connected. And the transition is, it seems that it's already, um, it has been al already done. So this looks quite good. So next thing, what we will do is specify some dimensions. This will have the length of five millimeter. Um, here we make a symmetry constraint. And here also symmetry. Here we can define an angle of 30 degrees. Okay. This angle is 110 degrees. These both points are also symmetrical. Okay, that looks good. Um, we must, we can specify here the length. Uh, the length is 120 millimeters. And we can specify a distance between these both points. This will be 10 millimeters. Okay, here we need to specify also a length. This will be eight millimeters.
This length is 80 millimeters. Looks good. And finally, we define this, this length. And this length is 100 millimeters. So now our model has finished. This looks good. So we can close this and pad this up to 10 millimeters. OK. We can save this file. We can now go to the part workbench and insert a cube. Um, this cube has a length of 140 millimeters. The width with will be 100 millimeter. And the height is 20 millimeters. And the position in X direction is minus 70 millim millimeter. In Y direction, this will be minus 45 millimeters. And in Z direction, this is minus 5 millimeters. OK, looks good. We can click on OK. But uh, we, should, we should change the, the color a bit, because otherwise we cannot see. So we change the transparency to 95%. That's good. No, that, no, that's okay. So now we can go to the CFD OF workbench. Insert a new um, container. First, we go to the physics model. Um, we use multiphase, means we need a transient simulation. Um, this will be multiphase. Viscose is OK. Turbulence model, um, lamina, we can um, make it like that. Gravity shows in the right direction. That's also OK, so that's OK. So next thing is the fluid properties. I will remove this in order to insert a new property. The first property is air. The next property is water. So that's OK. So next thing is uh, initial, initialized fields. Velocity, potential form, that's OK. For the pressure, we will say we need 1 Pascal. Um, fluid fraction, air, this will be 1. That's OK. So next thing, what we need is uh, an initializing zone. We select this cube, add this. And here we don't want to have air, so zero, that's OK. We click on OK. So next thing, what we want to have is an inlet. We choose this plane and define this as an inlet. So inlet, um, we will have a uniform velocity. That's OK. The velocity is minus 0 0.2 meter per second. That's OK. Pressure is 0 pass. No. Yeah. 
and the volume fraction of air, this one is one. So we want to have air in it, that's okay. So this will, we will set to, to an outlet. We click again, define this as an outlet. This will become static pressure, also zero Pascal. And here the volume fraction air is also one, but this is only a start value after simulation, some of the water will drop out. Next step is the, the meshing. So we will create a mesh. We will use CF mesh. The base element size is one millimeters. So that's okay. Here we click on close. We go again to the mesh and define a mesh refinement. Here we want to have an extrusion to, a, to the planar mesh. Thickness one millimeter, that's okay. And now we have to select the plane. This plane looks okay. We can click on add. So we can click on okay. And go again to the measure, write the case, and run the measure. This will last about, I think, one minute. So see you in one minute. Meshing has completed. We can review the mesh. Click on load surface mesh. So now what we see is that we have quite a dense mesh that looks okay. We click on close, save this file again. We go to the solver. Um, we must now increase the uh, simulation length. We will set the simulation time to five seconds. So that looks okay. We make a double click on the solver, write the case, and let it run. This simulation will last about five minutes. So see you in five minutes. Now the simulation has finished. Um, simulation time was 36 minutes. We go to Paraview in order to review the results. We go to the first time step and take a look on the alpha air. This is a distribution between air and water. We edit the color shape. Um, we reduce the number of colors to two. Okay, and then we let it run. So we go again to the first step. What we see is that here we have the incoming air. We can go step by step further. And here um, the air is coming into the water and it's making the bubbles. Here we see the typical bubbles. That looks okay. But after a while we see something that, uh, so we see the distribution of the, of the bubble. That seems okay, but when we go again to the um, to the um, color table, we go again to 256. Okay, and what we see here is that we have a, a lot of um, mixed mix mixture between air and water. So this does not, in reality, this does not really look like uh, real bubbles. But uh, when you reduce the number of colors to two, then this looks okay. So, yes. Let's come to the conclusion. A material flow can be simulated with interfoam. Air bubbles can be simulated with interfoam, but they don't have the shape of real bubbles. 
Interform always assumes a mixture of air and water. In reality, there is a greater separation. The reason is that there is a surface tension and this is not taken into account. Thank you very much for your attention and I hope to see you in my next video tutorial. Bye bye.